Now, here's a thought. Could robots help to care for us as we get older? It sounds futuristic, but this afternoon a new research lab opened in Bristol to investigate the possibilities. As well as finding out what tasks robots could do for us, scientists are also keen to discover how people actually react to them. We sent our, our business correspondent Dave Harvey to meet Molly, a robot carer. Be careful, I'm about to move. Captopril should not be taken on an empty stomach. You're quite right, Molly. I'll, uh, I'll have a sandwich before I take my medicine. Now, hush. We need to explain to these people what in the world is going on. We're in a kind of flat of the future. They've rigged this place up to help us imagine what it might be like when perhaps I can't do as much around the house and I need some help from maybe a robot like Molly. She can get around, she can call people, she can bring me things, she can stop me taking medicine at the wrong time. And it's not just Molly, the whole place is wired so they know where I've been, how long I've been in bed, whether I've been to the toilet, when I last went to the fridge. The lab is um, excellent for research, but if we are to have this technology out in people's homes um, quickly, um, then we've got to be able to make sure that it works reliably and safely in a real-world environment. And so, nestling in the heart of Bristol's most futuristic lab is this ordinary-looking flat. By the dinner table, Sociabot stands, ready for a chat. But just as vital to the research, older people and the professionals who care for them, providing a reality check for the robot scientists. I think it's good. What I love about their approach is they're working with local older people, so they're not just assuming that they know what's best for them. They're getting these guys in here, they're testing it, they're working with them so that we will be able to have things that are practical and usable and will make a tangible difference to people's lives. And something else is different here the money. The new lab's not been paid for by a global industrial company, but by a Bristol charitable society. In fact, many of these people who've come to the opening day today are the donors, the supporters of the local charity that's paid for this place. But I wonder, what do they make of mum being cared for when she's old and frail by a robot? Mum will be looked after by, by people and doing the better things that they want to do and, and really difficult things we think robots can help a lot with. And it's not just about direct health issues, it is about loneliness as well. And robots can play a big part. In it's quite a vision of the future. Dave Harvey, BBC Points West in Bristol.